So audio is very important and a good wireless solution brings in a totally different dynamic to your production. In my studio, what you're listening to right now is the Mark Fred mic system. I've been using it for the past year. This is my main setup. I've been using a product for a while now and I love it. I love the way, the love the sound that's coming out of this mic. And I'm gonna tell you, a lot of y'all guys been telling me the mic sound really good on my channel. Well, I've reviewed the WE10 system, which came with one single transmitter and a receiver. Well, guess what? They sent me out the WE10, the dude channel wireless setup that comes with two transmitters and one receiver, a interview type style. So let's get into it. Let me give you guys my thoughts about this product. So sit back and relax and get your popcorn ready and follow me on this journey. Let's go. What's up guys, this is Eric back with another video. So the Mark Frank WE10 Pro is a ultra compact dual transmitter wireless microphone system. It's perfect for content creators, on stage presentations and vlogging. Also, uh, they claim it to have 70 meters of range, which is about 230 feet, which I'm gonna test in this video. Let's talk about battery life. The battery life on the transmitters is about five hours and about eight hours on the receiver. The charge time is about three hours for the transmitter and about an hour and a half for the receiver. So when you buy this mic system, it comes complete. It's a complete setup, right? I mean, this is, once you take this out of the box, you are good to go. All you gotta do is plug and play. So you get in the box, you get two transmitters, you get a receiver, you get two lav mics, you get a mic cable, I'm sorry, you get a camera cable and you get a phone cable. Not only that, but I love this charge cable here. This charge cable is an all three in one. You got the USB, then you got three USB type C's, which is very nice. So I like this setup. And not only that, but you get your little day cast that you can put on top if you outside. So let's go over the transmitter. On one side, you have your microphone port and your power button. And you got three LEDs right here showing charging, line, and record. And if you have an SD card, you go ahead and put it on this side. And right here, you have a charging port, which is USB type C. Then you have an on and off switch if you want to record to the SD card. And you got your power button right there to turn it off. And you know, you got a nice little plastic design, pretty lightweight. Then you have your belt clip. So on the receiver, all right, the receiver is really neat. You got a 3.5 millimeter audio jack. You got a headphone jack for monitor your audio on this side. You have a power button. You got a nice LED that shows everything here at the uh, top. On this side over here, you got a DB gain, right? To change your frequencies. Uh, not only that, but you do have a mute button. And uh, when you press it, you can mute. Uh, and then you have your DB uh, button here. So when you press this, it uh, brings your audio up and down. And on the DB side, you can go from zero, three, six, and negative 18, negative six, and back to zero. And your frequencies, you're gonna go from zero to 170 to 230 and back to zero. So that's your frequencies. All right, so let me go ahead and plug this up to my main camera. I'm gonna take my boom mic off and uh, we're gonna listen to see how it sound. Let's go. All right, guys, so here it is. This is one of the transmitters. And let me tell you about my settings. And I, I did this with my previous one. Uh, on the unit itself, I have it negative six when it come down to the DB gain. I think that works for me in my setup right here. So I have it negative six. Uh, also, when it come down to the frequency, I got it zero. Now you could go up and down on the frequency if you want to to get more deeper bass or maybe a little more mid range. But it works for me when I got it on when I got it set at zero. Uh, so here it is. Now I do have the other transmitter turned off, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the other transmitter on. All right. So now we got the other transmitter on. So right now we have both transmitters on. Test one two. Test one two. 
Test one, two, test one, two. That's both transmitters, and look, we get a you know great sound out of both of them. All right, so I'm gonna turn this one off. Okay, and one of the things I want y'all guys to listen to is when I plug in the laugh mic. Okay, so this is the laugh mic, and usually you put the laugh mics right here. Uh, and that's the way I do my lav mics. I, I put them right here underneath my shirt so it can be nice and stealth. Uh, this is one of the things that I love about lav mics that you can have it completely hidden and you can take this part and put it on your belt clip. So this is the audio test of me having the lav mic on. What I'm about to do is I'm about to go outside and we're going to listen to the, uh, the wireless setup outside and we're going to see how far distance that this works. So check this out. All right, guys, so I'm out here at the park and I'm testing out the wireless do uh, channel setup here. Uh, right now, what you're listening to is the Mifrick wireless mic with a laugh mic here and I got it tucked away in my shirt. Uh, I think this is the best best case scenario. I also have the other receiver here. I got this one turned off. Uh, what, what I want y'all guys to hear is the sound quality between both. Uh, then I want, I'm gonna turn off the other with the laugh mic on and I'm gonna let y'all guys listen to the elements out here. Right now, it's not too windy, but uh, I want y'all guys to hear the sound. So right now, you listen to the sound, the McFrick with the laugh mic. I got it pinned on me right here, uh, and I'm outside in the element. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on the second receiver so we can hear both of them in action. And then I'm going to turn off the other one. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and turn on the first one, this one. Okay, so now what you're listening to is both of them. Uh, and one of the things that I like about uh, this setup here is that it's pretty much stereo with both of them. It's pretty amazing. I like this. Uh, so right now you're listening to both of them. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off one of them and we're just going to listen to one of them. Okay, so let's turn this one off. Okay, so I have the, the other one, the transmitter off uh, with the lav mic. So the only thing you're listening to right now is this one, uh, which is pretty nice. Now, one of the things that um, uh, they claim it is 70 meters as far as distance. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk way back there and uh, let y'all see if it's gonna cut out. But this is the elements uh, without the lav mic. So you have this pent on you right here. Uh, and you are whoever you're interviewing can have it pinned on you or you can have it tucked in your shirt So you guys can you know kind of have it pretty stealth uh, One of the things that I like about this is that the quality of sound has been really good. I've been using this a lot uh, So uh, I've been doing a lot of YouTube videos and I've been using these wireless mic setups uh, for my YouTube videos I've been having a single one, but shout out to McFreak for sending me out to do channel one, which is nice. All right, so this is the one here uh, without the lav mic, and I'm gonna turn back on the lav mic, and we go go to distance. Okay, so um, I'm gonna turn this one off. All right, so I have the other receiver off. One of the things that uh, they make free claiming uh, is that uh, these wireless mics can go up to 70 meters. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk and see if it's gonna cut out. Uh, and as I walk, I'm gonna give you guys commentary until it cut out. If it does cut out, if it don't cut out, I think this is gonna be amazing. But uh, as I walk, I got to hear uh, the sound quality, if it's going away. I'm kind of far distance here, I'm still backing up here. What I like about this wireless setup for McFrick is that you can put SD cards in there. So even if I do drop out of sync when it comes down to audio, you can put SD cards in and you won't lose no audio. So this is very important. So right now, wow, I'm, I'm pretty far out on you, but uh, I want to go really far. I, this, this, it's no way that it's picking up right now. I'm so far away. It's no way that it's picking up right now. So then I'm come back. <laughs> if it picks up this audio, uh, I would be amazed. Uh, right now, I do not have SD cards in there, but if I was doing a professional shoot, I would definitely have SD cards in here as far as redundancy. Uh, that's, that's gonna be very important, especially if you're gonna use this setup here um, for your main setup. So here it is. Uh, the McFrick Do Channel Wireless. I want y'all guys to hear it. This is Eric from Easy Computer Solutions. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think and do how the audio sound to you. Um, 
coming out of these dude channel setup here. That's what I'm talking about. See you guys on the next video. Peace. Dan Tana.